Hi, I'm Angie and today I thought I would address um, a question that I get quite often and that is um, how I get my bonbons and my chocolate bars so shiny. Um, and there are a couple of things to it and yeah, I just want to talk about it because this is really important to me so I thought it might be also important to you. Alright, so let's start out with the first uh, point. Your chocolate bar molds. So this is my very first um, yeah, chocolate bar mold I ever bought and you see it's pretty flexible and it was really cheap. And I also have some pictures somewhere how my chocolate bar looked like. And you see these um, streaks and that's because um, yeah, this uh, plastic is super super flexible. I think it's a uh, polycarbonate but very low quality. If you have a polycarbonate mold uh, with very high quality, you cannot bend this really. So this is really sturdy um, and you will not have these weird streaks. These streaks occur because um, when your chocolate is properly tempered and you allow it to cool down, it will shrink a tiny little bit. With a high quality mold, um, it will happen really, really regularly. If you have like this bendy thing here, um, this will not happen very regularly. And same applies to silicone. So yeah, the first point is the choose of your mold. And I will also have a, a link in the description below uh, where I get my molds from or just some brands that I like to use. The second point is also about your mold. So I'm polishing my molds with a micro cloth. I'm polishing it before each use and I'm also polishing it after each use. So basically I polish it twice. I don't use any alcohol or something, um, I just never needed it. Um, I've seen people doing it so I think it's, it's probably fine, um, Yeah, but I've just never done it. I usually very very rarely clean my chocolate bar molds um, with water or with anything. Usually I just scrape off some, some remaining chocolate if it's a lot, but that's pretty much it. It's a different story when I'm talking about um, my bonbon. Great. Uh, it's a different story when I'm talking about my bonbon molds um, and that is because yeah, uh, when I work with chocolate and my bonbons it's just so much more messy because you have to scrape it up and you have to scrape the sides and so I, yeah, I'm just too messy. Um, and so what I will do when I'm using those molds, um, I'm just putting them under warm water, clean, cleaning it off and then polishing it again with my micro cloth. And that's it. No soap, no nothing. Um, because if you use soap, um, you can get like a very smeary film on, on your cavities, in your cavities. And then that's not helping your glossiness of, of your bonbons. Now we're coming to the most important part. Um, you have to temper your chocolate and your colored cocoa butter properly. Uh, most likely you know how to temper your chocolate properly. Either um, by the seeding method or type of layering. Uh, but it gets a little bit more tricky when we're talking about those small bottles of colored cocoa butter. Or if you even make your uh, colored cocoa butter from scratch. If you have a large quantity, you can just use the type of layering method. If not, if you just have those tiny little bottles, like I have most of the time, then it gets a little bit more tricky. And I'm using Coco Silk. Today I will not show you how to make it. That will be um, in a video in like two weeks or so, so there will be an extra video. But I will add a link in the description below um, how you can make silk on your own. Um, with like really nice instructions. The videos by Chocolate Alchemy, you probably heard about them. If not, you should check it out. But there will be a video in a couple of weeks from me too. I have my um, cocoa butter seed. I grate it with a cheese grater and add a little bit to my colored cocoa butter. So that's all I'm doing. Give it a good shake and that's pretty much it. And then your um, colored cocoa butter is tempered. In the past I've been um, tempering with the table ring method, but today I'm really only using um, the silk method just because it's so much cleaner. So with the table ring method uh, it was just too messy and I lost a lot of chocolate during the process and with the silk it's just so so much easier. Um, so check out the link below and the video is coming up. Let me know if you have any questions about it. You can just as always send me a DM via Instagram or just leave a comment in the description and I will try to answer uh, your questions as best as I can. I think that's all from me today. Um, I'll leave you with a couple of shiny bonbon pictures and videos and yeah, see you next time. Bye!